video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use basic grid system. And I'm also going to show you how you can adapt your text and grid with each other. So let's get right to it. As you can see here, we have different sections of the plugin, basic grid system, proportions, font section, custom grid system. But in this video, we're going to cover basic grid system. So as you can see here, we have different predefined paper sizes that you can select from. So if I go to A4, it's uh, going to update the document size. So in this letting field here, I can enter any letting that I would like. If I enter 12.5, it recalculates to a letting that will fit perfectly on the entire document. So here we have 12,566 points. Now please note that this is only in points here. After I've done that, I can continue to the font section here and I can set up any font that I would like. And if I enter 10 points here, it updates the paragraph style, which the plugin uh, automatically creates for you. So as you can see here, it's the same uh, font that we selected and the correct size. It also sets, sets it to the correct letting here. And if we want, we can set up image lines by pressing one of these buttons here, which is either X height or H height. Now X height is uh, for you to use when uh, most of your type is set in lowercase letters and H height in uh, when most of your text is set in uh, uppercase letters. So if I press apply here, it creates the image lines for me. It also sets up the layer that I need. So if I want, I could turn this off. You also have the ability to, um, let's remove this. If you hold down the alt button after you've entered a letting, the switch button turns into square. So if I press that, I get a, a grid that is completely square. But please note that the width is edited. So let's apply the image lines again. And let's go to margins, columns, and rows. Now, when I set my margins here, they snap to the grid. So for example, in the case where we've applied the image lines, you will notice that the top margin applies to these image lines here. Now, these image lines are for you to align your text with images. Let me show you real quick here. I'm just gonna apply some text here. If I press X here, you see that it adapts these lines after the height of the X. I'm just going to draw a black box here to show you the alignment. And it's also important that you end this black, uh, these images that you place on your, on your document on the, on the document grid here. So it aligns with the text. So you don't want to, um, you don't want to end the images on an image line because that would just look weird. Okay, so I'm going to delete these two here and I'm going to continue setting the, um, the margins here. The bottom margin, as you can see here, snaps to the, um, to the document grid. When you're working with basic grid system, you can click on the scroll bar here and it jump, jumps five steps or you can press on the arrows here. You also have the option of seeing in different units here. For example, here we have millimeters, inches, points, picas. And it's the same thing with the side margins here. Once you've set your margins, you can uh, set up your columns and rows and sub columns. 
in this drop-down field here, you have you, you can see all the different options that works inside of the type area. Once I've set up the columns, I can set up additional columns. For example, I could check this sub column here and I could set up uh, columns that split the main columns. So this is great for index pages. Now that we've set up our margins and columns, let's set up our rows. All you need to do is click until you find something that you like here. And basically that's how easy it is to use uh, the basic grid system. Now, let me show you something else. If I close this document and I create a new one, because in many cases you're not going to start with the plugin. I mean, it, it depends on how you set up your layout. Many people like to set up a document without using the plugin and others like to use it the other way. So. Let me show you how you can do if you start up with a blank document and uh, don't use the plugin to start with. So I'm just gonna set up some text here. And I'm going to create two columns. Let's just pretend that this is something that you that you like and that you want to maintain a, a, a letting that is as close as possible to this 14.4 points. What you could do is to start the plugin, make sure that the correct master spread is selected. And what you can do is you can click on the text you could redefine the style because uh, Pro Edition uh, paragraph style is based upon the basic paragraph. Or you could select here from the drop down menu of the paragraph and uh, select Get here. This is, makes it really simple because here it reads the leading that was set to the paragraph style. Now, as I mentioned earlier, what it does is it finds a lending that is as close as possible that works on the entire document. If I press Command B again for my text options, we can see that the horizontal offset is 10.263 points. So I can just go ahead and enter that. Press OK, and then I would need to re-adjust this uh, text box. After that, we could just set up the margins really quickly. And then we could set up our our rows and I mean basically that's very easy to do. Thank you for watching this video and I hope that you enjoyed it.